Well, hi there, Internet. My name's Court, and you've got courtside seats for my review of The Last Full Measure. Let's do it. The Last Full Measure is a drama war film from director Todd Robinson and Roadside Attractions. The movie stars Sebastian Stan, Samuel L. Jackson, Jeremy Irvine, Christopher Plummer, Bradley Whitford, Ed Harris, Linus Roach, William Hurt, Alison Sudol, Peter Fonda, Amy Madigan, and John Savage. 34 years after his death, Airman William H. Pitsenbarger Jr., or Pitts, is awarded the nation's highest military honor for his actions on the battlefield. I am super mixed on this movie. I really enjoyed the story and the performances, but I wasn't a fan of the structure, the pacing, or the writing. As per usual, let's start with the good first. This movie is all about honor and courage and duty and legacy. And it is at least a somewhat true story with these Vietnam veterans trying to honor the legacy and heroism of their fallen brother. And at times it is really quite powerful. I had a couple moments where I found myself getting choked up for sure. And the cast is great. Sebastian Stan does a really good job in the film, even though I found his character pretty cliche. The standouts for me were unsurprisingly my favorite all-time actor, Ed Harris. He was great. Peter Fonda, the always reliable William Hurt, and I'm happy to say Samuel L. Jackson. I have loved Sam Jackson for a long time, but there are a lot of movies over the past decade or so that aren't MCU flicks where he's doing a lot of just yelling mother people. What he does here is a much more subtle, nuanced performance that reminds us he's got a lot more to give. Well done, you mother now to the more negative thoughts that I have about this movie. There is a scene during Thanksgiving dinner, no spoilers really, but Sebastian Stan takes a turkey out of the oven and he goes to carve it right away. Dude, you got arrested for like 20 minutes. You want a dry bird? I'm sorry for yelling, I take turkey very seriously. That silliness aside, let's move on. I thought the writing in this movie was really quite bad. The dialogue was cliche and ham-fisted. The rare attempts at humor really fall flat. And it comes across at times as maudlin, with characters speechifying, like the movie is actively trying to tug at your heartstrings. In what feels to me as a pretty blatant, and maybe I'm a cynical person, but a pretty blatant Oscar push. Not so much that it's necessarily exploitative, and the movie does earn some of its more powerful moments, but a lot of them also feel rather cheap. The pacing is also problematic. The movie is a hair under two hours, feels quite a bit longer, particularly in the front half. All of the war scenes are told in flashback, they're shot handheld, and they're edited this, with this really frenetic style. And I know it's trying to make us really feel the chaos, but it comes across as kind of a jumbled mess. Further, Pitts himself, the man this movie is about, has very little screen time, which is only shown in flashback, and he essentially becomes a background player in a movie about him. We never get to know the guy at all. His presence is really felt through the legacy that he leaves to his friends and family, the people who knew him, and the men that he saved. I wonder perhaps if this film would have worked better if the main plot was the Vietnam stuff so we could get to know this character and the subplot was flashing forward to these men rallying to get him the Medal of Honor. I don't know, but it might have worked better. I feel like this movie's heart is in the right place and it honors not just this one man, but everybody who has ever served in the American military. And while I respect that very much, I still find a lot of the mechanics in this film to be problematic. I do think it's worth seeing for the story and the performances alone, but I don't think you need to rush it to the theater. This movie will work just as well on streaming. Now, I don't have a proprietary rating system as of yet, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna give the last full measure. And I think I'm gonna give the last full measure a out of 10. So now I want to know, have you seen The Last Full Measure? What did you think about it? What is your favorite war film of all time? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.